850 and we are coming to the end of this Friday morning and luckily we did not have to contend with the cold temperatures that we had at this time yesterday. And we do have a little bit of cloud cover out there that certainly helps us out in the temperature department at night. Notice at the bottom of your screen, 41 degrees. We're sitting at 38 in Melpha, it's 37 in Williamsburg, 38 degrees in Franklin and 43 degrees in Manio. Now as you can see, not much wind out there, so that's helping it not feel colder if you're waiting out for the bus. Now winds are sustained out of the west anywhere between three up to eight miles per hour. But as a cold front comes through today, the wind direction will gradually shift more out of the north, but it will take until Saturday before that cooler air actually spills into the region. So here's a look at our satellite and radar composite. Yes, showing you we do have clouds out there, but no rain or snow showers for that matter. Our future track forecast will stay dry as we continue through the morning into the middle of the day, and we will stay dry through the afternoon with temperatures topping out in the upper 40s. So a chilly morning will give way to a cool afternoon, keeping in mind we should be in the mid 50s for this time of year. Overnight, partly cloudy temperatures dropping to about 31 degrees and Saturday will actually be tracking a mix of high and mid level clouds. Of course, those high clouds associated with that storm system that will be off to our south. That'll bring us a little bit of moisture on Sunday, but we are dry through Saturday. So if you have outdoor plans tomorrow, you're perfectly fine. If you have outdoor plans today, you're perfectly fine. Notice that we do stay dry right into seven o'clock Sunday morning. Let's go ahead and zoom this picture out a little bit. And it'll show you that rain moving in from the south to the north. Now, this particular computer model here actually holds the rain across the metro and point south. It doesn't allow it to nudge farther north into the middle peninsula, northern neck, and eastern shore. So that is quite possible. But since this is kind of the first run I've really seen that, I'm going to leave the rain showers in the forecast for our entire viewing area. But notice the snow still well off to our west. So inland places of Virginia and North Carolina will be getting some accumulating snow. That is not going to happen here. I know we do have the snow lovers here in the Tidewater region, but uh, boy, it still seems a little bit early for shovelable snow. So rain is expected across the coastal areas of the Tidewater region, northeast North Carolina. But then you go out towards the middle peninsula, the peninsula, Surrey County, Sussex County, Isle of Wight County, Southampton County, and Suffolk. That's where we could see the storm end as a brief wintry mix, but no accumulations expected. And then farther inland, that's where you'll get the accumulating snow. So sun and clouds today still cool. Cool temperatures in the upper 40s. We fall into the low 30s tonight. If you're looking for something to do tonight, uh, it is the lighted boat parade in downtown Hampton at the waterfront. Starts at 7 o'clock and temperatures will be right around 40 degrees by then. 43 for your high tomorrow and temperatures will stay below average for the next several days. I don't think we'll be able to talk about any seasonal temperatures until potentially next Thursday. By the way, in addition to the potential for a wintry mix early Monday morning. That's when the winds will pick up. We'll actually see the winds picking up Sunday night continuing through Monday.